today we are talking the EDC sling bag and this is Agilite's six pack fanny pack dangler. It, it, this thing can do a lot of things. I've been using it mostly as a sling bag. You can use it as a fanny pack. It's originally designed as a plate carrier dangler. If you don't know what that is, that's totally fine. But this has become now like my go to sling bag, go to everyday carry bag whatever you wanna call it. So I wanna break down for you like the specs of this bag, why that works, do the full review, and then I'll leave some notes at the end, uh, little tips, tricks for this thing. Let's get right into the material and like just build quality of this pack. Now the Agilite six pack is made out of 500D Cordura, the mil spec tactical nylon, genuine Velcro up on the front and on the inside and on the back as well. As you can see, I have up here in the front, my Kit Badger patch. Shout out to Kit Badger and represent North Idaho. This bag comes in a few multicam options along with black, like a coyote brown and this Ranger green that I have here, which I'm a big fan of Ranger green. I think everything that's old is becoming new again and like, yeah, going back to the Ranger Green's feeling good. The total carry capacity, at least in the internal volume of this pack is 1.8 liters. And there's some like elastic loops and ties and other things you can do here to expand storage. And right off the bat, like one of the things I'll say is I really, really like how well this bag holds its shape. I have stuff in here right now, but even when I don't have anything in here, it holds its shape really well. And what that does is like, if you don't load this thing up, if you just have a few things in here, stuff is just not gonna move around or f this whole bag is not gonna flop around on your person like some other bags. This rigid backing here is really nice for just keeping the shape of the bag, even when it's not stuffed to the brim. Okay, going over the exterior sort of stuff, the zipper pulls are really strong. We'll actually talk a little bit about those more in a second. These sort of clips here, I think these are the strongest plastic clips I've ever seen here on the sides. Uh, they do disconnect so you can fully take them off if you just wanna use this as like an admin bag. Like I said, use it as like a plate carrier dangler. But with these clips, oh, it's just so satisfying, click. Uh, you get the strap for free with the pouch and you can adjust this to be as tight as like a fanny pack or as long like a sling bag. You do get these like top two sort of like pieces of webbing here and also some webbing on the side. That's where these like clips connect. I personally used this right side webbing to tuck one of the zippers uh, from the main compartment into. That way there's only one pull that I have to like find, grab, and I can kind of do that without looking for it now. And then that way that I always know that closed is on one side and opens on the other side. And, and you could flip that around if you wanted to move this over here, tuck the zipper on the other side and then pull in the opposite direction. Uh, but I do find that really handy. All right, let's open up the main compartment. Very satisfying. In here, I usually like to keep my backup wallet with like extra cards, documents, things like that. I also keep my primary wallet in here. If you guys didn't see my previous EDC video, I'll link that down below. But this is the wallet that usually goes in my pocket. But if I'm at the beach or something like that, and I'm or if I'm wearing shorts that don't have good pockets. I'll throw this little wallet in the main compartment as well. I'll also throw my field notes in there. Um, working through this field notes right now. If you haven't seen my field notes video, I'll link that down below as well. This is the big doozy. I keep a Kindle Paperwhite in here. When I first saw this bag, I thought there's no way that I'm gonna be able to fit uh, even the base model Kindle, let alone a Kindle Paperwhite in this bag. And I was shocked, surprised, stoked that uh, you can throw a Kindle in here and take that to the beach with you as well. If I'm in a scenario where I also need to carry uh, my 365 XL, that will fit in here. On the interior backside of this bag, you have this like rigid backing that has a uh, loop Velcro on the back. So I have like a Spirit of Systems like sort of retention cord I can put in there, attach that to a holster, and that'll keep everything like connected to the bag if need be. There's also some webbing up front that you can use for like cables or lollipops or whatever you want. With this particular webbing in here, I was able to actually keep a, um, a charging brick and a charging cable like a USB C cable for my phone um, that I could also use with the Kindle if need be. And there's a drainage grommet at the bottom um, for when you're drowning. Now I've used sling bags in the past while like flying and things like that, but because the shape of this bag is held so well, because I can really finely tune and lock in this strap, um, I was throwing things like my boarding pass up front here, any other documents that I might need, receipts. This just kind of became like my utility sort of pouch for everything. And I was really a huge fan of that. One of the things that Agilite talks about with this compartment that makes it so special is that the zip is on the front and not the top. And so when you unzip it, you can easily pull this back, but not everything goes like flying even when this is like slung on your on your back or even on your on your front. Because that flat tends to stay down, I was finding that even when I had this thing packed, 
uh, whether that's at the airport or walking around town. I wasn't afraid to like unzip it, get in there, get something because of how this bag is constructed. I appreciate that. Getting into the front pocket now, this is just a tiny little pocket. It doesn't have a lot of depth or like yeah, it doesn't have a lot of depth to it, but uh, I do keep my AirPods in here along with my little flashlight, especially if I have this bag on me, I'll throw the flashlight in here instead of having it in my pants and then I'll keep the pin my Studio Neat Mark One in there as well. Like I said, not a massive pocket, but uh, it is strong. There's nothing on the interior of this particular pocket, so no organization, but again, it's just a small pocket. Fits like AirPods, a pen, a little flashlight. I think I had a couple other little things in there uh, while traveling. On the bottom of the bag, if you're wondering what this loop is down here, there is some uh, sort of like nylon webbing down here in this strap. It's originally for like a tourniquet holder, so you can throw in a tourniquet down there. It will fit a full-size North American Rescue cat tourniquet, and I know a lot of people are in like the snake systems, uh, like EDC tourniquet. It will fit that, and then plus you can fit some like chem lights or like a marker pin in the uh, shorter sections here. So is there anything I don't like about this bag? For me, the one thing that I thought would kind of be cool is if there were some Molly attachments, like attachment points uh, on the backside here to be able to put this on a rigid belt um, with the fanny pack sort of style. It works, but it would be nice to just have this like integrated onto my belt directly. Don't know if that's too nerdy. That was the only thing I could think of that I was like, you know what, that'd be nice. All that said, this bag has become my most favorite EDC bag that I have used yet. It's getting a lot of love from me, a lot of workout from me, especially with summer coming and just wearing like not my full winter garb and all that other good stuff. If you have an Agilite six pack and you've kitted it out differently, I would love to hear in the comments down below how you've set up your six pack. And if you are gonna pick one of these up, uh, let me know how you're gonna use it. Are you gonna use it on your plate carrier, sling bag, fanny pack, all the above? very versatile pack. And yeah, I'm super stoked on Agilite. I hope they keep making awesome stuff because I have a few things from them now. Like I said, this video is not sponsored, but yeah, I'm really super stoked on these guys. With that, be kind both in life and in the comments below and like this video to send good vibes across the internet. Subscribe to this channel, everyone. If you haven't yet, just go make it right. Hit the subscribe button and uh, let's hang out, let's party. My name is Stephen Foster. I am on an expedition to live a complete life. So on this channel, we're doing everything from EDC, tech, photography stuff. I got a few more other things up my sleeve for 2024. So you'll wanna stick around. With that, we'll do it again soon. Later.